At five, a Springfield man will spend the rest of his life in prison after he carjacked, kidnapped, and sexually assaulted a 77-year-old Adams County woman nearly two years ago. Judge Robert Thompson handed down a 130-year sentence to 36-year-old Bradley Yawn today. And WGEM's Dylan Smith is live at the Adams County Courthouse. So, Dylan, is this the maximum sentence? Mackenzie, yes it is, and when you add on the contraband charge that Jan was found guilty of earlier this year as well, it's actually 137 years. Now, Judge Thompson says at least 85% will be served, and like we've seen for nearly two years now, Jan maintained his innocence yet again today. Before sentencing even got underway today, the state called investigator John Shoney to the witness stand. About a month after the guilty verdict, Jan sent the victim's husband, that's Tina Loman's husband, Tim Schmidt, a letter. Jan claimed the trial was full of lies and that evidence was tampered with. Thompson said to Jan, quote, you're the most reprehensible person I've had in court before me, and prosecutors are also relieved Jan's fate has been decided. You take no responsibility for crimes that you clearly committed and were proven beyond a reasonable doubt. I believe you're narcissistic and unable to appreciate that because to admit that would be admitting a fault, and in your mind, you are perfect. I will say this was maybe the easiest sentencing that I was ever part of. Um, there was no doubt in my mind that we were going to ask for the max on every case, and we were relatively sure that the judge was going to impose it for this defendant. System is on. As in his 22 years of practice, this is the first time he's asked to impose a 130-year sentence. We heard nine family impact statements today, several of whom actually testified during the trial in July. And coming up on WGEM News at 6, hear from those family members. Live in Quincy, Dylan Smith, WGEM News. All right, thank you so much, Dylan. And Jan has 30 days to appeal.